The ideal week. It's a concept that I've been utilizing for the past few years as a part of my task framework in Notion. For those of you that don't know what the ideal week principle is, the ideal week answers a very simple question. If you had 100% control of what you could do with your time, what would you do with it? For those of us with jobs and various responsibilities, this isn't really possible. However, what if we took the free time that we do have and made it our ideal week? What if there was an application that could integrate with your calendar, had recurring tasks, and could help you map out your ideal week to make your life more intentional and fulfilled? Okay, you and I both know that it's Sinsama, and if you didn't know that, I'd be impressed that you clicked on this without like reading the title or seeing the title at this point. Honestly, I give kudos to you for that. Like, I'd, I'd like to have a conversation with you about how you made that happen, because I, I can't focus in on thumbnails that, that well. What is going on, guys? My name is Dimitri, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're gonna clearly talk about what I just referenced. And before we get into all that, if you could please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my latest videos, and to fulfill my need to ask for this every single time, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested in getting any templates from Rise Productive, please make sure to go to riseproductive.com slash notion templates to help you up your notion game. If you want to get the ideal week principle, you can get my task framework template and that will help you set everything up. But regarding Sensama, let's dive into the application and show you guys how to make your ideal week. So if we jump right into Sensama, we will see the fact that there is a really nice calendar integration that works with this thing. And when you have something like this, you can easily time block your life and get your ideal week made. So the system I have in Notion essentially has it so there's like a board view that has a bunch of different time blocks and then I compare that and I use my task calendar with it. But with this situation, what you can do is you can just straight up see the integration and how it exists. So if we go back to a week view, what we can do here is as you can see, this is the day that we are currently on, right? It's Tuesday, November 9th and this is being recorded. And if we took something like this and we moved forward, and we saw what exactly we were looking at for uh, my consistent block schedule and my consistent setup that I have for what my weeks look like, I could essentially do this. So let's say on Tuesday, I want to take what I'm doing for my uh, YouTube videos. So for example, I have my recording sessions that I do. I so record a roll video, record B roll video, record or take thumbnails. And this is based off the fact that I have this side hustle session from 5.45 to 7.30, or sorry, 5.30 to 8.15 on Tuesdays. So if we go through and we do this, what we can do, which is nice is, so say for example, I'd start at 5.30. I'm gonna guess that this would take me 30 minutes. So then that leads me to it being six o'clock then recorded, uh, taking the thumbnails actually would go prior to that. Let's say this takes 30 minutes as well. And then we got the other portion of this, which will be an hour and a half. So then at this point, we're at two and a half hours. And that means we have reached uh, exactly 8 a.m. And I would say, actually, if I'm being a little bit more conservative about this, it's, it's probably an hour and 15 instead. Uh, but unfortunately, in Sinsama, you can't put like an hour and 15, you can only put an hour and a half. So if I add one final task to my morning, I can put edit a roll footage. So for me, editing the a roll footage takes probably like 30 minutes between all my videos. So let's, let's do this. All right, so in this circumstance, what we're doing is actually, I'm probably gonna undershoot for the thumbnail so that we get to this amount. So as you can see, then I'm getting my ideal week figured out for this block. So it's like, this is how long each of those sections will take for two hours and 45 minutes where I have that side hustle time. I'm going to be able to get this done. Now, that is an example for a day of the week. If we went to Wednesday, we do the exact same thing and Thursday and Friday. So let's say on Tuesday as well, I want to showcase the fact that there are different channels. There is life, there is habit tracker, there is housekeeping and side hustle. So for me, I'm gonna do an example of the fact that I, on Tuesdays, as you can see, I make dinner. So, make dinner, and that's gonna be 
here. It'll take about two hours. And then I want to do some habit tracking stuff. So I always get that reading in at night. I always prepare for bed and do like my whole nighttime routine, but there's other things I need to do. So for my habit tracker, what I can do is I can put journal, change this to habit tracker, skincare routine, meditate, stretch, read, and then if I, and reply to comments. So they always got to make sure I do. So then if I take all of these, as you can see, I could put them into different ones right here. And what I like to do for my own uh, interest is take all of the uh, habit tracker ones and put it at the bottom. You can put it at the top or the bottom. I just wouldn't recommend putting them all in the middle. Uh, now, obviously what is nice about this situation is the fact that if you want to break things up by the life bucket, what you can do is obviously this is going to be housekeeping is I can press habit tracker here and I would see just the habits for the day. I could do housekeeping. I would just see what the housekeeping stuff for the day and then side hustle would be just that as well. And then if you want to see the specific thing, I have an eye appointment on that Tuesday. So I could obviously put that one in. So if I go to housekeeping and it'd be an hour long eye appointment and I would go and put this at one hour. And then if we go back to all of them, as you can see, like the order that we're doing this, uh, I can definitely put in the right order. So this is like the order that I want to do things. Then if we look at the time blocks, we're doing a bunch of planned time. And then that adds up to what your ideal week would be. So essentially what we can do here, however, is the fact that if we go into all of these, press the three dots right here and do repeat, we could do a weekly every week at roughly 5.30 a.m. So if we go to the week after that, we can see that the task actually repeats. And you can set the times for all these as well. And I just wanted to go through that and show that at the end there. So if we go here, so then theoretically, we could do this one. If we go to repeat, this one would be at, at roughly 5.30, and, or sorry, 6 a.m. Then as you can see here, it's gonna put everything in the order that you want if you put time. So it's a question of whether you want to do this or not. So that's why I'm showcasing you the two different options. Whenever you put a time, it's going to go auto below there. So I'm going to go through and fill out the rest of these recurring tasks really quick, and then we'll, we'll bounce back. So I went through here and I put them in recurring task format. And when you do that, you can set the time. When you don't have recurring tasks, you actually can't put them at a time. So it's like an approximation. And then as you can see, the eye appointment is there. And that's that's something in Sensam where it's like, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Like you can obviously slide this guy in between when you have recurring tasks, like, oh, obviously I can put this guy before dinner. But by default, if we go to the next week, we'll see it's set to have something like this. And if, if you wanna do something interesting regarding a habit tracker situation, if you wanna make an objective, what you can do is you can go to something like this, press align with objective, you haven't created any objectives, so I can say create an objective. Let's do this one. Reply to comments. Okay. So I'm playing this guy. Say let's do, we want to do this five minutes a week, or five minutes a day, the whole week. And then we could set this up every week, or we can go back here to what we got. And you could take this guy and repeat it weekly. Or more specifically, if we want to change the way we repeat things, we can do repeat daily. So if I get rid of the objectives, so we go here to say, okay, that's not what I want. For to get rid of this objective style, if I go back here, I want to take the skin right carotene. I want to take this reading and all the other ones and make them daily. So then in that circumstance, what you have is you have a setup where if I go through and take my entire week and what I'd like to do is I could take all of the different parts of my setup. I could have the different time blocks that exist and say, okay, I want to do all of these specifically on my Sansama app at this certain time. So instead of just having it be where one day 
you have a specific set of things going on and then it changes, you can set your ideal week. So obviously this is for some people who are in a life circumstance where they can get up early and then start work and work remote at 8.15 or if you have a smaller amount of time. I obviously wake up early, that gives me more flexibility for time. However, in your case, it may not be that way. So I recommend you going through this, going through a week in Sansama, going through like this, adding your habit tracker, but then moving forward with that, adding in your side hustle, doing things like setting your theoretical time for when you'd start it, set a recurring task, and then you can have an, an ideal week planned out in Sansama. And while that may not be exactly what happens, it's something that'll at least be close to what your ideal week could be. You know, I'm recording on a Monday for once, and um, thanks for, for watching, because uh, I was up at 4.30 on a Monday. Hashtag Mondays. Check out the videos over here, the little playlist. And I'll see you guys in the next one.